So this is episode three, I think. I think it's episode three. And yeah, I put that command in. All of the map and that, just like that. Because that's the way I roll. Roll, 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 roll your boat, roll your boat. Jump me down to sea. What did I just do? Alright, let's get out of here. I am going to go straight to Winterfell to join the Northman in the battle. I don't want to be here with the Lannisters. And I'm not going to do that Dragonborn quest really. I don't really want to. It's pretty boring, probably. I think the like, main quest for this mod anyways is just the uh, battle, like the uh, Civil War or whatever it is. To decide who will be king. Will it be Joffrey? Or will it be Stannis? I think if you go with the Starks and you win, it's Stannis Baratheon becomes king. And if you go with Lannister, it would be Joffrey. That's the way I think it goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. But we're going to Winterfell, which is here. I can fast travel now. Thank God. Bannister spies. <sighs> I don't give a fuck what you talk about. I don't give a shit. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Is a. Uh, is this it here? The hall. Up the great hall. Nothing's over there. No Bruce Bolton! Alright, fuck you, man. You're dead here. Come on, just fight me now. Fight me, I said. Does it have the default armor? No, it has the Stark shield. I'm not sure about the armor though. It might just be the Nord armor from Skyrim. The basic vanilla game. I don't know. I'm going to go join this. It's pretty smelly in here. Okay, let's. Hey, everybody. I don't know who you are. I think I know who you are. I know who you are, boy. The dead man. You better watch out. Something might happen any day. Sorry, Rob. I miss you. Bye bye. Don't know who you are. I probably do know who these are, but I just can't remember them. Nope. And. I don't know who the fuck she is. Who's he? Hodor! Hodor! Fuck you, I master. Fuck you, I want him. Oh, wait, I see that. It's time for us to part ways. Man, Hodor, you're fucking a mess of me. Alright. Now, 
secret armor. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone who faded made it out of home. Seems we're all granted what we see today. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. People are behind you. Many are still in need of taking care of their parents. Bulba told us quite the story. Well, that's a glitch or something. Because you put Skyrim in there. Mother, you failed us. Should be Westeros. But I want to fight the Lannisters, I'll bleed for the chance to do so. Alright, fuck off, I'm doing it. Join the Stark Rebellion. Did I just do it? Because I just got bones. Oh, I'll go do it now. Do I have to kill him with the bones or something? I don't know. Yes, Howard, though, you're coming with me. <laughs> I was about to go bring Rob with me, but then I just saw him take out that massive hammer, and I was like, fuck, no, you're coming with me. You! I might not talk as much in this video. Stuff went down today. Bad stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty sick, actually, so I might not be, like, really, really jumpy self. But you may like that or you may not like that. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Um, I wanted to download the uh, weapons mod. It's a uh, Game of Thrones weapons mod, but I'm kind of scared that it will just fuck with this, so I'm not doing it. Which really sucks. Like, the mod is pretty cool, but it's just, like, so glitchy. And this is kind of a review of the mod as well, so you can just watch all the way through all of my videos, each and every one of them, and you can decide if you want this mod or not. And I recommend getting it, but I think it's probably safe if you wait for a more stable version. Like, I think version 5 is coming out soon, like just after season 5, or before season 5, somewhere around there. But that version may be better. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. It's not out yet, actually. So how can I try it? The fuck? How can I try? Oh no, wrong place. Fucking hell. <laughs> Great. Quest. Journey to Starks. Kill the Ezra. This video has been going on for nine minutes. Nine minutes, 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 minutes. Who ya? Have fast travel. I may not be able to fast travel because there's somebody nearby that wants to just fuck with me. Okay. Yeah. Alright, where do we go to kill this fucker?
And to be honest, this guy couldn't kill me anyways because I have God mode on. Not because I'm scared or anything. If there is another God mode or something that you know, a command that you can put in to like hold way more, like stuffs and stuff. A plus, I just need a command that you can hold like some more stuff, you know. Like for example, what's there? You can only carry 300, which is not that much. When I do get a lot of stuff, I'm going to want more, obviously. Do I have to bring this with me? But if you know a command where you can just, like, better your carry stuff or whatever, whatever it's called, honestly. I just drew a blank there, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to keep this video going on for maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. And I, I also found out what the game was called. I was talking about in the previous episodes. It was Crusader. Crusader's Kings 2, I think. There's a Game of Thrones mod for it. Really sick. I don't know how to play it, don't crap at it, but I really want to learn how to play it and make a series on it because it's really good. Really good mod. And I swear my fucking back, this chair that I use is not a gaming chair, it's a chair from the kitchen. I need to get a gaming chair actually. Stark. Sky UI mod, I used to have it. I don't have it installed, this is why it's that slow. I'm actually going to actually try to install it back soon. Stark. Um, what else did he give me? The MD is in here. I think he gave me them too. That looks more like a Stark uniform than this. What do I know? I still. I have found the final resting place of the jagged crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain to be a little corbin there. But if old King Bor gets his elite buried there, you're bound to run into trouble at some time. Your fellow stormcloaks. Okay. No. Let's go fuck people up. Um, Hotor. 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 I'm king. I king. I king. I king. Hotor, I'm sorry. Bloody hell, hold on, you're massive here. It's massive in real life, but in this game, it's like... 
<laughs> it's huge. I never knew you could make him this anyone this big in the game. It must be a mod or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can't make any your character that big. If the mod creator really wants this mod to be like really, really, really big, he just needs to put audio in. No kidding, he just needs to. Because that's the worst part about this mod, is the audio. Like for example, when you do that, it would have been so great if you just said, Hodor, Hodor. When he just says, you're on my side or stuff like that, it just makes no sense because Hodor would never say that. And like for Edward Stark, Make him at least sound like a Northman. He sounds like not a Northman in this. Like the J does not. And he just needs to. He just needs to put audio and everything. Honestly, if he does that, this mod will go massive. He just needs to put a lot of work into it, though. It will be a lot of work if he does do it. But I really recommend that he does. That would make this mod so much better. I swear. If he done that, this mod, I would really actually say it would be the best mod ever created. I would only actually, I would honestly say that if he put audio on for like everything, like even Hodor, just says Hodor, Edward Stark, like everything, and when they say Skyrim, they say Westeros, all that, like just make it a lot more better for us. Then that this would probably be the best mod ever created. Seventy minutes. I like that about action. My new recording software I'm using. It tells you how mo how long it's been recorded. It's pretty cool. Right, that it should be Westeros. Is that great John Umba? Because I honestly don't have a clue who he is. And I, I, I really do mean that if he puts audio on like for everything, it's probably impossible to do, but if he does do that, I really do think that this mod would be the best mod like ever created, and a lot of people probably vouch for that. I would anyways. Everything about the Lannisters is bad, but that bloody armor is, oh, that armor is sick. That armor is sexy. It's a lot better than the Stark's armor. Also, I think, I think there's a mod for it anyways, it's the better combat, because combat in the base game just feels pretty fake to be honest. Do I go in there? I suppose the mod creator obviously can't help with that, but if he puts audio, like proper audio in this game, then this mod hands down will be one of the best mods ever created for Skyrim. It is really really good mod but that the audio is just like holding it down so much. It really is. You should definitely like set up a campaign or something to get people for because I know a lot of people would definitely do it. Personally I would do it as well. I'm actually going to PM about it. PM, PM him about it. 
because I'm pretty sure it still updates it, yeah. Because the version 5 is like coming out in a couple of weeks, right? But if he set up something like looking for people to do audio on this game, on this mod, a lot of people would sign up. Like, legit, I, I think it'd be in the hundreds or thousands. Then they would just, they definitely have a lot of voices to play with, basically. This video has been going on for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I am going to end it here. Let me just end them. Um, Okay, I'm going to end this video here and start episode 4 like legit right now. So I'll see you in episode 4.